Good morning and welcome to Holy Comforter's Children's Worship on this second Sunday in Lent. This morning's story is out of the book of Mark and it's called A Very Hard Thing to Do. Sometimes it was very hard to be Jesus' friend. Peter and Susanna and Andrew and Mary all loved Jesus very much, but sometimes Jesus said things they didn't like. One day Jesus was talking to his special friends. We sometimes call them disciples. It will not always be easy to be my friend, said Jesus. Sometimes it will be very hard. But why, asked Susanna, people like to hear you tell the story about God's love. They like it when you help sick people feel better. So why should it be hard to be your friend? Susanna, Jesus spoke quietly, it's because I teach people that they should love God and love other people the way they love themselves and more than they love money. I teach them that it's better to love and to help people than to be their ruler. What's wrong with that, Andrew asked. Rich people don't like it when I tell them that God wants them to give some of their money away. The rulers don't like it when I tell them they should love people, not boss them around. They get very angry when I say those things. They want to kill me because I say those things. Peter was listening quietly, but he just looked worried. God has chosen me to tell people about God's love. Jesus was speaking so quietly his friends had to move closer to hear him. That is a very hard thing to do because it means they will kill me. Peter jumped up. No, no, he shouted. We won't let that happen to you. Peter. Jesus looked angry. Don't try to keep me from doing what God wants me to do. You are thinking only about what you want. Think instead about what God wants. There were tears in Peter's eyes. He loved Jesus so much. He didn't want Jesus to be hurt. Peter wondered why God would let such a terrible thing happen. Listen, my friends, said Jesus. I know you don't understand why these things should happen. I don't really understand either. Jesus sat down on the grass near Peter. It is going to be very hard for you to keep on being my friend. To be my disciples, you must stop thinking about what you want. You must only think about what God wants. And that will be a very, very hard thing to do. So what did you hear in this story that stood out to you? Maybe something you've never heard before. Have you ever had to do something very difficult for your faith? Do you think that God was with you? How do we know when God is asking us to do something? I want you to think about those questions this week. And now it's time for us to do our creed. We believe in God the Father, the creator of all things. We believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God who died for our sins. We believe in the Holy Spirit who gives us our gifts to use for the body of Christ. Now it's time for us to do our prayers with people. And remember, the response after each prayer is, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the churches of the world. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the people who lead our country and state. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the leaders of our church. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for peace on earth and for people who have nothing to eat or drink. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the brave, alert, and strong military that they show mercy in carrying out their service. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our families, friends, and everyone around the world. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for anyone who has died and their families who might be upset. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our church to do what God asks us to do by helping our community and neighbors. Lord, hear our prayer. And now it's time for our five finger prayer. We're going to use all five fingers with this prayer and we'll start with our thumb closest to us. At our thumb, let's pray for those closest to you, those in your family. So let's take a minute and think about the people in your family that you would like to pray for and let's pray for them now. Our second finger is our pointer finger. Let's pray for those that point you in the right direction. Our teachers, our doctors, and our priests. Let's ask God to give them wisdom and support. So let's take a minute and think about our teachers, our doctors, and our priests, and let's ask God to give them wisdom and support.
Our third finger is our middle finger. It's the tallest finger. Let's pray for those that lead us, the people in government. Let's ask for guidance and wisdom. So let's take a minute and think about the people in our government, people like the president, the governor, mayor, city managers, anyone who might make decisions for our communities, and let's ask God to give them guidance and wisdom. Our fourth finger is our ring finger. It's our weakest finger, so let's pray for those that are weak, in trouble, or in pain. We cannot pray too much for them. So let's take about a minute and think about the people who need extra prayer this week. Those that are sick, those that are alone, those that are homeless, anyone who might need extra prayer, and let's pray for them now. And our last finger is our pinky finger. It's our smallest finger, so let's pray for ourselves and our own needs. So let's take a minute and think about the things you need prayer for this week, and let's pray for them now. And let's end our time with a prayer. Holy God, we thank you so much for opportunities to be together, though we are apart. We thank you for your stories, and we thank you for your love. We ask that you be with us this week. Help us to shine our Christ light brightly to the people around us. Help us to be kind and loving and generous, even when people are not kind and loving and generous to us. We just thank you so much for our church family. We thank you for all of our blessings, and we ask that you bring us back safely next week. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. I hope you enjoyed this morning's lesson, and I hope you'll join me next week. Bye. Have a great week.